Hey there everybody, it's Justin from CartoonSmart.com and we're going to continue looking at some uh, super basic Swift code and we are uh, playing around in the playground uh, which just means that we can see some feedback over here uh, instantly without having to uh, publish the actual app and uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at functions and we do get to call them function here in uh, Swift Whereas the objective C way was uh, referred to as a method, uh, so let's uh, let's play around with a function uh, that uh, kind of tallies up points. And uh, to do this, uh, first let's work with some points. Uh, so we'll make this an int type, and uh, when you think about it, that's a good um, type for points. All right, uh, in a any professional game, there's never a decimal value for uh, <laughs> you know the score. So uh, we're going to start this off at zero. And uh, then let's write our function, and uh, you get to start that off by writing the word fun, and then a C after it for function. And uh, we'll uh, call this function uh, points total. Okay, and that's what we're going to write uh, when we well when we want to call it. Okay, uh, right now we're just setting it up though, and we're not calling the function. Okay, we're not executing it at this point. Uh, so when things run through here, uh, you're not going to see anything in here right now. Okay. Uh, and uh, let's uh, kind of demonstrate that. I'm going to write uh, points equals points plus one. Okay. And uh, we shouldn't see anything over here because, again, we have not actually called that. But what will happen uh, when we do is whatever the current value of points is, we're going to add one to it. So let's go ahead and uh, come down here and just write uh, points. And as soon as you start to f uh, fill that in, you'll see that uh, you get some options. Okay. It, it's either refer, you know, it knows now that you're referring to either that variable, which is an int type, and uh, that shouldn't be overlooked, okay? Because a lot of times when you're writing your code, sometimes you might have to uh, check over here and see, wait, 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 what is the actual type I'm referring to here? Uh, so that's an integer, or we've got our um, our function, okay? And uh, notice too that it's got that little f here for function, a v here for variable. And uh, and this void is telling us that it's that our function is not going to return anything, okay? And you can write functions, which we will in a little bit, that are going to give us something back out of it when we call it. All right. Right now, we're not getting anything out of this. It is doing something, but we're not taking that. We're not taking any data from the function and putting it somewhere, okay? Um, but still, though, it's going to serve its purpose. All right. And you can see now that um, it's it's telling us that uh, points is going to equal one after this initial call okay now if we come down here and we uh, just paste in points total points total points total uh, the playground is going to tell us that it's uh, it's been run four times and if we want to see the value of it we, what we can do is write uh, print and then uh, just points in here okay and um, now you can see it's putting in here four. So uh, you can play around by um, incrementing it a different value. Okay, so now if we add in here two, what a joker. Very funny. Uh, if we put in here that uh, that's two, okay, so now we've essentially multiplied it, all right, uh, by four because we've uh, run this four times. Just give it, give up on it, all right, Just go away. <laughs> um, there's a there's some shorter ways though of uh, of incrementing uh, numbers and uh, here's one way you could come over here and write two plus signs on this side okay and uh, that's going to add one each time all right so that's a nice little short way of doing it you could also come over here and write uh, plus equals and then whatever value again that you essentially in this case kind of want to multiply it by but um, so it's going to add three each time makes sense so it ran four times added three put that over here uh, so let's do this let's actually um, let's put in here uh, the, the value uh, to increment it by okay so to do that we're going to pass a parameter inside of uh, these uh, parentheses right here, and we uh, we do need to specify the type of this and give it a name. Okay, so um, we'll call this uh, how about um, amount? That's an easy one to think about. All right, and uh, we're going to set that to be int. Okay, and uh, yes, those are correct because <laughs> now that we've set a parameter inside of here it's telling us that whoa wait a minute you I know that function wants me to put something in there okay I can't just you know leave it hanging 
so we're going to need to put a value in. And uh, of course, right now in our function, we're not actually using this. So what we should do is put in that amount right there. And of course, we're still going to get these errors until we put in some value. All right, so uh, just to keep it simple, let's get, just put in three each time now. All right, and we'll be left with uh, 12 again. Of course, you know, if this was like a football game, that might have been a field goal. That's a touchdown. And now you're just being silly. Come on. I know that seven is going to work in there. Just give up on it. Okay, so um, we started at zero. We added seven. Three, seven, and three. Okay, so that's twenty points, right? And uh, that uh, that math works out, doesn't it? Now, um, what if we wanted to uh, return something from this? Okay, so uh, what we could do is put in here. Oops, there we go. Uh, we'll return an int. Okay, and you do that by putting in. Uh, We'll dash and then an arrow, which kind of looks fun, you know. Kinda together, it looks like that a, a, a very nice arrow, all right. And uh, the error that we're getting now is it's telling us that you're not actually returning anything. You told me you were going to return something, okay. So let's uh, return a new number, okay. Now it doesn't know, know what uh, new number is, so let's go and uh, say that. Um, uh, let so this can be a constant new number equal points. We could just return points, but uh, let's try this. Okay, and uh, it's it's not uh, we're not getting any uh, issues down here. Okay, which and maybe in some sense is kind of surprising because. We're, we're still just kind of calling our function, but we're not um, making this equal to something. So uh, what we could do is uh, come over here and I'll, I'll create another variable. We'll say var, var uh, the, to oops, the total equals uh, points total. So uh, how's that look to you? Okay, so all this ends up being is a way to return kind of a maybe a convenience you'd think about back to a new variable here. So, oops, let's go and um, now print out uh, what the total is. Uh, of course, since we're only running this um, one time, we're just now getting seven right back. And you might be wondering, well, that's a lot of code just to <laughs> get back seven. But uh, it, it hopefully gives you an idea of how you pass in a parameter, use it in some way over here, and then uh, make it equal to some other value. So let's uh, let's change things up a little bit. Let's uh, instead of returning a an integer, let's return a string. All right, and um, this time around, uh, we'll change this to um, I don't know, scoreboard uh, message equals, and then this will be uh, the new score is, put a little space after that, scoreboard message plus uh, points. And I think what we have to do here is put in a string. Okay. And then finally, uh, this Oh, well, actually, that does work. I was going to say um, we should be a little bit more specific about the type here, but that's okay. It actually was figuring it out for us. Uh, so var, the total, um, str you know, it's a string type, equals uh, points total and seven. So we've put in here seven. That works its way in as the amount. Okay, so plus equals amount, seven. And then the new score is... That's that part right here, plus the string value of the points. Okay, so we basically just converted our integer into a string by doing that, and uh, that is what's getting returned. This this message combined together. Uh, so now what we could do is, um, uh, you know, we could call this again, um, 
And you know what? This time around, instead of making this a variable, let's uh, let's do this. Let's take that line. See how that looks? So it's returning to us just inside of this print line. Um, that message <clears throat> with the uh, score added in. So, you know, we can put this in here as many times as we want, uh, you know, and it'll keep adding it up uh, like so. Oh, we <laughs> what is, oh no, I thought it subtracted it there for a second. No, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, that is correct. It is baffling. <laughs> it's so quick to judge, aren't you? And then you had to just kind of silently disappear. First, you you know you get a little red on your cheeks by getting half transparent, and then you're gone, huh? Stupid little red warnings, errors, I should say. All right, um, does that make sense, everybody? Hope so. Uh, I think what I'll do is uh, come back in another video, talk about something different.